The minister's visit is coming 10 days after the media facility was burnt down. In the wake of the violence that trailed the hijacked ENSA's protest, he was escorted by the acting director general of the National Broadcasting Commission, who had earlier been here, and the chief executive officer of the organization was on ground to lead the way. Everybody was safe. Um, there were some injuries. After seeing the level of destruction, the minister is impressed with the comeback efforts of the media organization. I congratulate the management and staff of Television Continental for the courage to come back on air. It's not just about uh, resources, it's about determination. It's about the fact that you believe you have a mission. Alaji Lai Mohammed is certain that the perpetrators of the act must be brought to book. And we want to ask all the security agencies to please ensure that those who are responsible for this carnage are brought to just brought to book. On wave of fake news, the minister said the nation must have a responsible social media space. I have no intention whatsoever to shut down the social media, but we have no apology whatsoever in our concern and our determination to ensure that there should be a responsible use of the social media. The CEO of TVC Communication thanked the minister, but admonished the federal government to do more for the traditional media in providing an enabling environment for them to compete. But, but this is an enormous struggle for us that we are going through now, and we would implore federal and local government, uh, not just for TVC, but for all broadcasters, to give us any assistance you can so that we can protect our jobs, protect our services, and make sure that we have a variety of services that are free of charge to all the good people of the Republic of Nigeria. With the recent happenings in the country, urgent healing of individuals and institutions is advocated, and it is hoped that the various panel of inquiry will do justice to yearnings of the people. Ademola Lawrence, TVC News, Lagos.